Hey guys, what's up? It's Giant over here. And before this video starts, uh, off screen I found this wandering around while the video was uploading. So I'm an absolute idiot and did not mean to get that yet. But, um, yeah. Uh, you're right back. Hey guys, what's up? It's Giant over here. And welcome back to some more Super Paper Mario. Last time we arrived in Rogueport. Got a new friend called Gumbella, and I'm actually gonna check what that was that I just got. If I can. Oh. Wasn't sure I had that. But it doesn't matter anymore, actually. So, um, let's go. Hey, by the way, Mario, have you saved yet? You see that save block in front of the end? Since where you, since we're here, you ought to save now. Just jump and hit that block, save. Okay. Ryan, if you want the video to fail, then I guess can be a You also broke an old lady's lens. I feel bad now. I feel bad now. Ow! Oops! Pardon me, sucker. Hey, what's your beef, pal? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Mario, you gotta wake up. That guy just stole half of your coins. He what? What? You kill him. That is so lit. I hit this town. No, I'm gonna kill him. He deserves to die. Come on, Gumbello, let's go kill this guy. He, he, does, he doesn't deserve to... He doesn't have the right to steal our money. He's actually down here. Actually, he's in here. Oops! Oh, fancy meeting you here. You're pretty dang persistent, buddy. What a pain. Fine, fine. Okay, you got me. I'll give you your coins back. Here. And you get your money back easy. You also got that star piece. I'll have to look up uh, what, what to do with them once this video's done. But yeah, there's nothing really much to do about here. There's this bell over here. You can jump on. There's, there's, there's people you can talk to, but like in my Super Paper Mario series, I'm not going to talk to people in the main hub world because I'm just too lazy like that. To you. Whoa, whoa, hold up now. You're an outsider. Past this point is the turf of Inns Nail Head of the Robos. It's ten coins past through. You tried past without paying, and I'm afraid I'll have to whip you. But good. I'm not paying. It's really simple. If you don't pay, you don't pass. I can take you. What? You gotta be kidding. Think you can pay your way through here? We're gonna make you your words tough guy. Let's get this party started. So we got a little mini boss right here. <clears throat> it's towel. Gus. <coughs> That's Gus. He's super annoying and tries to take tolls from everyone. Nice HP is 20, attack is free, and defense is zero. All in all, he's pretty tough. Oh, and I've told you a million times, that play spirit of his hurts if you stomp on it. I wonder if this guy watches people pass 365 days a year. Talk about a workaholic. Yeah, if you do that, it will then show his HP. Yeah, I don't really think I should be doing this. Hey, no healing items and stuff. Let's head bonk him. Smart idea, Liam. So yeah, pretty much. You don't want to fight him yet. Ha! Learn your lesson? Prediction. You'll never try to fight for here again. I figure you just had a triple helping of humble pie, so I'll let that slice now take off. So yeah, uh, pretty much that guy is really tough. He's tougher than the first guy we fought. I forgot his name actually already, you know. But yeah, that guy's pretty tough. 
The guy we fought before had 10 HP. So I suggest you do not fight that guy just yet. What the hell? Ah, oh, what are you doing? Sneaking up on a person as he sings most joyfully. Who, me, you ask about? Oh, I am Count Flavio. I am, how do you say, a traitor, the richest man in Rogueport. The skull cap in Cass's gears there. Uh, yeah, but we'll be coming back to that guy later. Tothrof is up here. Oh, where in the world could the princess have gotten to? This is quite troubling indeed. Oh, to the long refuge in this part of this port of filthiness, our beds will soothe your soul. Well, the one comes from Yeah, okay. I'm just staying in the end because I you got done in by that. Yeah, he back there. <coughs> so, yeah. I just wanted to tell him just to see his stats. But, yeah, he's pretty tough in case you can't tell. You can come out here. There's this one here. Open it up. It just means you can't go in there yet. And you know those specs? Yeah, if you want to get the- I know I should be continuing with the story, but who does that? You want to talk to this guy? Welcome, yes. Welcome to the Tide Press Bazaar! Eh, what's that? You want to talk to- Art legs, you say? Oh, it's just my moment. <sighs> Gee, fella, I'm sorry, but we don't have any in stock right now. Tough work, I know. I can special order one right away for you, but it's but it'll take a while. Check back soon, okay? So now that we've ordered contact lens for that old woman, it will actually come back soon. Just recommending you do all that stuff right away. Except from fight that guy. Just don't fight that guy, because I'm not dead. So you might go in this house. <coughs> there he is. Oh hi, there you are. Frisk Frankly. Who's it? Who's there? Who wants me? Ah, oh, yes, you know you are. Uh, I've seen you first before. Yes, that face. Wait for it just a moment. Don't tell me now. Silence. I'll get it right. Um, it's not going to be old. Or it's not ours ago. Hmm. Um. Ah, I've got it. You're from Bell, aren't you? You were in my archaeology class last year, am I right? Well, yes, sir. That's me. I'm from Bell, a junior of you Goom. Goom, Goom Buzz. Goom, Goom Buzz. Why is he Goom? Of course, I remember you. Not too much one, but I'm pretty good at remembering. No, you're not. You, though, you stick out in my, in my mind because you were such an expansion. Exceptional students, and that guy manager is. Who? Mario, Professor, he's Mario. You know the famous one? Oh, my apologies, I'm such a book I haven't a clue about what shape right now. In any case, what sort of errand brings you two all the way to a place like this? We are hoping it tells with the legendary treasure said to be said to be below Roport. I thought that if anyone knew. Anything about it, you would, Fess, frankly. Of course, no, about it. The reason I came here was to study the very subject. But why do you types want to learn about the legendary treasure? You know, the most says it's little more than a fairy tale, don't you? Archaeologists and historians have to search for, for truth in those fairy tales, though. Me, I believe the legendary treasure truly does exist, and I really want to find it. Good point. And well made. In that case, I'll cooperate with you however I can. First of all, what about that treasure? There are many mysterious surrounding it. Mysterious surrounding it. Some say it's an infinitely vast treasure hoard, while others say it's a magical item. Some folks say it's actually a monster, while still others claim it's an empty chest. So many different theories, obviously, it's impossible to divine the truth among them. But I'll agree on one point. To find the treasure, one must have the crystal stars. Find the treasure of yours, take the seven crystal stars to the thousand year door. You mean the crystal stars in that old saying that super elderly people passed in? 
indeed the same as the same goes if you want to find a legendary trainer you first must collect the seven precious stars hold the magical map of a loft before the entrance to the fuzzing your door and the stars will light the way that leads to the stones of yesterday yeah love the lore i've read it says that if this magical map is taken to the doorway then i'll show you where to find the crystal stars Correct! And the fountain your door is supposed to be there deep beneath this town. Yet the critical piece of the puzzle of the magical map is lost if only we had that map. But well, we do have a professor or, well, no, we actually, Mario has a magical map. What? Hoopla 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 Really? You, you actually have it. Just take a quick look at it if you don't mind. Astounding, this is it, the real thing, the one and only magical map. You son are my hero, you great, fantastic, wonderful evil. Yes, you can find the crystal star just by holding this aloft before the legendary door. Well, oh, Professor, good golly, what are we just sitting, doing just sitting here then? Well, are you? Off from the school of the system. Let's take the magical map of the legendary door. Okay, so we now have Professor Frank playing our party. I bet you didn't know this rock old thing came out, did you? <laughs> what we can use this path to get down under and see the streets. Come on, both of you, let's get moving. Okay. Oh, wait, hang on a second. Mario, something just occurred to me. I'm fairly certain there are quite a few hoodlums below, so I keep your guard up. You two do know about your action commands, don't you? Nope. Huh, it's positively shocking. In that case, you ought to take a second to learn them. Well, I have a little practice session. Umbella, you can be Mario's opponent. What? Me? Are you nuts? Oh, gee, um, uh, okay, I'll do my best to guess. So we have to play our own part number. I think that's what it is. First, we'll practice the jump action command. That okay? The both of you choose the jump command and choose which enemy you attack. When you choose your target, the action command you just appear down below over there. There, right there, Mario. Just when you land on your enemy, press A again. You know you did it right when the mouse appears, you can do more damage this way. Now it's your turn to attack and bella she can day. Okay, here goes Mario. Hold up, right there, Mario. Try to say just before your enemy strikes you. You did it. You did a guard action command. Well, we're just that damage you take. Well, listen, you can't just jump, rush, just repeat it, and tap me to guard. That will not work. Oh, I remember this. The action command is changed depending on the attack. Better stay on your toes anyway. Next, let's practice hammer action commands. Let's choose the enemy right here, Mario, and we'll control stick left. Release control stick as soon as the store appears. Another rousing action command success. How did that feel, Mario? Got a pretty good grasp on the action command now. Actually, now for a real treat. I'll teach you a really nice incredible technique. But I'll try to attack Mario one more time. You got it, Professor. Right there, Mario. This time will be just for the enemy attack man. See, you turned the false attack buff back on him. I mean, her. That's a super guard. If you don't know what super guard with me, if you do know what super guard with me, you take no damage and damage your enemy in return. But super guards are harder to do than standard A guards. Choose wisely between them. And that concludes action commands one on one. Ha ha ha. Sorry for pressure on humor. I gotta go over. Would you like to practice your action commands a bit more? Nope. Thank you, it. I expect nothing else, Mario. You're a quick runner. You already are a pro. I'm sure. Well, I do believe now we're all set for questions, so shall we go down below? I'll down your path and sort of control stick down to enter the park. We. <clears throat> What does this remind you of? That's, that 
pipe going for a stop. And then that's a very old game. The GameCube's very old, so I'm sorry if the quality on it's terrible. But um, that's gonna be the end of that episode. Next time we will be continuing from here. So, bye. What's this? Hey, hey, man, what's up? Who's the hottie you got there with you? We'll find out who's saying that next time.